This is why you guys should wait to buy the Staccato CS. Staccato has two more guns they're unveiling this year and you don't even know about it. I just spilt the tea. All the other CS reviews, I never heard a single person say that because everybody else I seen do these reviews wasn't at the event I was at, so. It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in clown shoes. What is going on, everybody? We are back down on range three for another gun review, something that I've been looking forward to do, something that I got to see before majority of you guys, and that is the brand new offering from Staccato, the Staccato CS. This little thing is the hotness right now on the market. People are selling them for 3,000, almost four, basically $4,000 for this gun. MSRP on this little bugger right here is $2,500, uh, obviously minus the dot. Now, I got a chance to go to Staccato. Staccato invited me out last year to do a premiere on the unveiling of the new CS. What do you think, sir? Absolutely. Absolutely. What you feel about that? How do you feel the trigger? Brand new CS. Nasty. Nasty. So this guy here, he thinks every gun needs to be ported. Absolutely. For everything, everything needs to be ported. This is the second time I'm shooting the gun. This is the second time I'm shooting the gun. Look, look, it's all out first time. Look, it's all out first time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ready. I'm about to spit in your mouth just now. <laughs> And once again, Staccato, thank you guys so much. You guys treated me like royalty. Not only are their guns top notch, man, they treat you like family. I have nothing but good things to say about Tony and the crew over there at Staccato. So we got to shoot this before anybody. We, it was a huge, cool event. We got to do a celebrate celebration of Heroes event. And then at that event, they unveiled the new Staccato CS. We all had a good time shooting it. We all played around, played some games. And yeah, man, is, this thing is nice. As small as it is, uh, it shoots super, super flat. And basically what we have here is we have a three and a half inch gun. It's a subcompact gun. This one comes with a flat trigger. It's empty and actually has a fluted barrel and a fluted cover right here. Cover? What is this called? Why am I drawing a blank? Scott, what the fuck is this part called? I keep, I'm, I'm stumping myself right now. The hood! Okay, thanks to Skip's guns. Okay, bye-bye, Skip. See you later. So it actually is a... <laughs> that was Scott, by the way, Skip's gun. Uh, a fluted hood, and the reason for that, honestly, is you might not think... And obviously, it cuts down on weight. That's, that's the point. But weight also releases heat, right? But what happens is these actually are channels that oil goes through. So what happens is when you oil this... Give me one second. When you go ahead and oil this chamber right here, as the gun is cycling... It cycles through the gun and cycles on the bottom of the barrel. So we'll go ahead and add some drops. Bottom of the barrel, bottom of the barrel, and just like that. So as the gun is reciprocating and recycling, there's actually two holes on the rail system that actually the oil dumps in. So it actually greases the rails as the gun is tracking. That's really, really neat. And if you guys are gonna oil your guns and lube your guns, make sure you use nothing but the best. Use gun butter, baby. Link in the description box down below. 100% American made. This stuff will withstand the test of time and your guns will run like butter, baby. Gun butter, get yourself some. All right, so stock from factory. We have a nice beaver tail. Really, They're all new, uh, not really all new, they're tack grip right here. Now, I have a Staccato C2 and I have a Staccato C. There's a difference with the grip and actually with the mag. So the mag is a proprietary mag, right? So it's a lot thinner than a traditional, hold on. CS mag, C2 mag, 17 shots, 16 shots. So it is a lot thinner uh, in all ways than the other staccato mags, which under, when I was at the unveiling, I kind of didn't like because like I said, the price tag on this little joker is $2,500. Uh, 
and so I have to get a gun that I can't use all 35 of my staccato mags and I kind of didn't like that. Other than that, you're looking at a three and a half pound trigger pull. Just decent, it's stock take up. Nice crisp break and good tactile reset. It's a good push. I mean, like I said, from factory, this is a production gun, you have to remind yourself. But for a production gun, this thing, like, slide to frame fitment, there's no movement in here at all. Like, there is not, nothing shaking, cracking, nothing. Slide to frame fitment is phenomenal. This is a aluminum frame steel slide gun, uh, bull barrel, like I said. And then the only thing, I, another thing I don't like is the guide rod setup. Uh, the guide rod setup, the spring is, it's a two-stage guide rod. So what that means is you have a smaller, tight little wound spring up here and then a regular size spring, but it's not regular size, it's like this, but the compressed two stages in here. I don't like it because I have a two stage in my C2 and I actually went down, so I'm waiting on the new parts for that. I just don't like that system, but other than that, it's basically it. Uh, I don't like the gap in here. I mean, look at this, it's crooked. I just took it down just to oil it, but I don't like this gap. Why can't you put a reverse plug in here, Staccato? You guys are a billion dollar company. Um, oh, and it has an external extractor as well. So that's the, the new hotness now. So for 2,500 bucks, this is what you can get. This is why you guys should wait to buy the Staccato CS. So I'm spilling the tea. I'm not under any NDA or anything like that with Staccato. I didn't sign anything. When I was at the event, I was talking to some of the staff there, asking them about this gun before it was unveiled. They are coming out with two different Staccato models before the end of this year. Meaning, if people are paying $2,500 to $3,000 to $4,000 for this gun, Staccato has two more guns they're unveiling this year you don't even know about it. I just spilled the tea. All the other CS reviews, I never heard a single person say that because everybody else I seen do these reviews wasn't at the event I was at. So I'm spilling the tea. This gun is gonna have two other brothers and sisters coming out this year. So enough of that being said. Uh, also, before we start shooting, I have the Hollow Sun uh, 509 on here with the primary arms ACS, AC, I can never say it, ACSS reticle. You guys can't see it, but it's a Chevron with an upside down V. It's the rock in the building. But other than that, man, let me shut the fuck up and let's get to shooting this little bad boy. Okay, about 15 yards out. Let you guys watch this little guy work. And since we're talking about American made products right now on this channel for the review, all the ammo that was shot through this review was brought to you by ANH Ammunition. They are Two of my personal good friends, they're out of Homa, Louisiana. They just started their business. Go give them a shout. They'll be in the description box down below. Go follow them. Go get yourself some boxes, man. I'm shooting 124 grain. 100% American made, American owned business here in the US of A. Support your local American businesses. That's all I can say about that, man. This stuff is really clean burning and with clean burning ammo and high quality ammo for a very affordable price, you guys can be 100% confident you're not getting any light primer strikes. I'm going through 500 rounds right now and I have yet to have a single light primer strike. Go check them out, I promise you will not be disappointed. A&H ammunition, man. All right, we're 30-ish yards out for a staccato. This should be no big deal. I'm not even gonna shoot anymore. Let's keep going back. All right, I said fuck it. Two drops in a bucket. We're going all the way with this little guy. So let me show you. He is right there. I know, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Let's see if I can take a take a gander at it. Uh, you can, can barely see him right there, that little black speck right above my nail. Three and a half inch barrel. Got some 124 grain A and H ammunition in here. See if I can hit it for about 125, 127-ish. Staccato CS, baby. Woo! I figured for my Jerry Springer final thoughts, we'll do it underneath the comfort and this breeze. 
the shaded tree. <laughs> what do I think of the Staccato CS, the coveted AAR after action report? What would I change on this thing? Not really much to be honest, because this thing honestly is like the perfect little concealed carry gun. So two things, the grip, because the grip is actually slimmer from here down. And that's why the Staccato mags don't fit. And that's kind of the reason why I never bought this at the reveal because when Staccato invited us out to do the reveal on this thing, we had first dibs on pre-ordering this gun and I allotted not to for the simple fact of the proprietary mags. And what I mean by that is, like I said earlier, I have a bunch of Staccatos. And if you guys are interested in Staccatos, I'm pretty sure you guys have a bunch of these laying around. This is your, your Gen 3 Staccato mags, Gen 2 Staccato mags. They just don't, they just don't fit. They just don't fit. So what I don't like is they went this route. What this reminds me of, honestly, going the route of proprietary mags is like what Apple did when Apple came out with the lightning lightning cable, right? It was a big fuck you to the industry because people kept making their chargers and they were just like, hey, watch this. We're gonna come out with our own chargers. So everybody scrapped their chargers. So yeah, it was just a big F you. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't do it because I have two C2s and I have a P and I kind of didn't want to buy it then, but Honestly, I mean, this thing's a great, perfect concealed carry, especially if you're new in the market for a gun. If you like Glocks, that's cool. Nothing wrong with that. You guys really need to try this. And remember the oil I put on earlier? You can see that with the shooting that we just did today, check underneath. Yeah, you see that. With the oil that we put in, thanks to gun butter, with the oil that we put in, it actually dispersed through the barrel, underneath the barrel, into the rail, and actually coated coated the rails so I like that fluted system it actually has a science behind it I don't really know many people that actually talked about that in the reviews of these guns but I want to mention it and bring it to you guys just a cool little quirk and features of this gun it actually is that's why it's worth $2,500 but other than that man I am Ron this is the all-new staccato CS we are down on range 3 I will see you guys in the next one peace